Today, South Korea's lawmakers asked the government to come up with policies that will help overcome the country's low birth rate and aging society. This is at a government Q&A session on education, society and culture. Our political correspondent Yi shi reports. Low birth rate and the aging society. The two population issues greatly affecting South Korea today were some of the key topics of questions asked at Wednesday's government interpolation, calling for the need to foster an environment that better supports childbearing and care. Lawmaker Choi asked for the government's next plan. Unless we correct the current situation, the low birth rate problem will not be solved. What actions will the prime minister take to make this right? We will re-examine our old policies and focus our efforts on those that are effective. We will also conduct thorough monitoring and control of how the policies are executed. Lawmaker Meng sung kyu also called for a better environment for raising children, alluding to the announcement last month by the Korean Pediatric Society that its primary care providers will stop seeing patients under the title of pediatricians and instead accept more adult patients. We will raise children if they can't go to the pediatrician. Our policies for low birth rate and aging society empty prayers then. Do you have any solutions? In the short term, we are forming an emergency response team and looking into the situation with regional health centers. We'll also push for essential medical support and solutions to improve pediatric medicine. The assembly also quizzed the officials about the government's contentious proposal to increase legally allowed working hours to 69 hours per week from the current 52. It asked the government to remedy the shortcomings of the proposal by listening to public opinion. Meanwhile, the parliament pointed out the need for educational programs for overseas Koreans, to which Deputy Prime Minister Lee Ju-ho vowed to proactively collaborate with the new overseas Korean agency to make that happen. Wednesday's Q&A session marks the end of the second set of interpolations to take place in 2023. Yi Si-hoo, Arirang News.